Hello everybody, this is Count Christo, and I apologize that the previous episode ended so abruptly. Uh, I just must have accidentally hit <laughs> the stop recording button. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, all I did for the rest of the episode, basically, was consider unit templates. So, we made some decisions. For example, if you switch this all into SS versions of these equipment, it's barely better. It's got about 25% higher organization, maybe 30% higher organization. The production cost goes way up. I think it's not worth it. Uh, so what I what we did what we did instead was we used some of our arm experience to move our our armor towards the golden thirty combat width, and we increased the mechanized amount, which made them quite a bit harder, which is very nice. Uh, we're also going to start looking at trying to get some extra stuff in here. We could just add in SS stab, which is effectively cheating because it's just like organization up the wazoo because you have two. Stab, by the way, someone told me this in the compound. That means like uh, division command, basically. It means the uh, like the command. How did someone describe it to me? So it's basically it's about the it's these are, these are the officers essentially. Uh, but we could add in. We don't have heavy artillery. Wait, I thought we had heavy artillery. Oh, this is the Panzers, right, right, right. We could we could put some heavy artillery in the Panzers. I mean, I know we're spending, putting heavy artillery. We're getting a lot of heavy artillery around the place, but that soft attack is nothing to sniff at. Could also go with uh, support anti tank if you felt like we were having trouble. We could switch out to those. We don't have a straight up reconnaissance battalion here. That seems foolish. We should have a reconnaissance battalion in these. And honestly, combat engineers, tanks struggle in difficult terrain. That seems sensible to me. I think we should go nuts on the reconnaissance in the tanks. I want these guys to move at lightning speed. It looks like we already have, actually. They haven't got the cavalry con squadron. I want these guys to move... I want Blitzkrieg, okay. These guys are going to move at the top speed we can achieve. We're going to have all four of the recons. I think that makes sense. So we're looking for 24 army experience. And also the other big thing that happened, we took freaking hangs out. So uh, that was, it was good progress. See if we can go in here, cut these guys off. Great change in Black Ice, by the way. Uh, you seem to move when attacking about the same movement speeds you move when just moving around in your own territory, which means, you know, they started moving before us, but because we're so much faster division, we could pretty easily get there before before them, even though in this case it served us with no no benefit, really. Though it is making those guys in Simo have some have some problems. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I, I honestly have no idea what happened in the previous... That recording just ended. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it ended itself. And I do apologize for that. Ah, your attack plan's gone. Cool. Let's just put another one in. Keep that bonus up. Spanish volunteers still, you know, not making headway. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. Throwing them against there is just going to kill their equipment. Adding in that mechanized has given us a deficit. Uh, which, is, uh, which is, you know, problematic, but... Let's keep these guys training. It's mostly just panzers and artilleries. We have enough panzer ones. I might as well just start a bunch of these training. Seems fine to me. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and hold this while their organization gets worse and worse. Hopefully hold this. Look at that soft attack. That's glorious. Nice. I like you can get really high combat volunteers in, uh, in this game. Up to 120% from experience. Which makes sense, you know, if you're... If your division was super, super experienced, then... Oh, we should definitely have remembered to do that earlier. Get these guys to get the priority on reinforcement. Current manpower is only 80%, okay. Well, we did just switch them up. Uh, always a... Pretty much always a bad decision to switch up... You guys should stop training now. Pretty much always a bad decision to switch up... Uh, you guys need to train back up. Actually, don't train back up. Training back up is a bad idea. Just get deleted, son. Pretty much always a bad idea to, to uh, switch up the division, the, the templates rather, of divisions that are actively engaged in combat, but I don't feel that we had a huge amount of choice here because, you know, it's they're just engaged in volunteer combat. It's not, like I said before, or maybe you haven't heard that because I've somehow stopped recording, but it's not vital to our war plan that this, uh, this war in China goes the way we want. And yeah, the, the Japanese are winning the war of attrition in the north. The steady, the slow land warfare in the north will get won by the Japanese unless we can really cause some heavy casualties down here. And there's a lot of Chinese divisions down here that could be doing sterling work in the north, so. But they are now running out of organization. 
<clears throat> Somehow they have organ this tile. We have to stop getting Shanxi. Shanghai, sorry. Let's see what we can do to uh, get around here. Take this victory point off them. That will lower their supply. And then we'll see what we can do to wipe out the rest of them. We'll probably be able to overrun these guys. Uh, maybe not. But uh, do something like this. We should instantly arrive. Yeah. Come back in here. Okay, and you guys are on such low org, I imagine. Especially with the uh, the generous support of our Chinese allies. We're getting there. Are they currently doing... No. <laughs> Eventually they're going to do the, uh, like, please please stop supporting them with advisors thing. Where is it? Yeah, seven Sino-German ties, but... We're not going to... We're going to keep helping these Japs. These Japs? These are Chinese, as long as we can. Alright, we could do with a cast designer. I want help with... The Stuka. The Junkers Stuka. Please. So, there we go. Bill cost down 10%, 5% more reliability. Sounds good. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Potential flashpoint. Could cause a war. Let's see. Historically... Oh yeah, this is a question I asked. I'm going to Google it, actually. Uh, Czechoslovakia. I'm th Germany actually did declare war in Czechoslovakia, right? Czechoslovakia attempted to resist. Right? After, uh, they didn't resist the Sudetenland, I believe. They were forced to fall back. But then, I think, the second step of the occupation, the remainder, yeah, they actually were invaded. So it's possible if, if you know, Black Ice remains historical, Czechoslovakia might declare war on us right now. Set up Czechoslovakia as a puppet state. No, it looks like we're just getting it all. Cool. Petition it with Hungary. All of it belongs to the Reich. Oh, right, and this gives us 200% reduced ahead of time penalty. Excuse me? I mean it's free? Interesting. And we annex all of Czechoslovakia. Well, obviously we're going to annex all of them. It's only 50 political power. That seems eminently doable. All of Czechoslovakia begins, belongs to the Reich. Nice. So, Allied, oh, allied uh, Anger, now up there at 9. We're not going to do the Second Vienna Award. What does the Second Vienna Award even do? Is that Transnistria? Transylvania, sorry? Is, is this area collectively called Transnistia or something? Or are I just getting that word out of nowhere? I don't think we need to do that. Uh, what else could we do? <clears throat> I think we do want to do this at some point. Because it gives us uh, that buff for three years. Almost four years. I'm told Nazi secret projects can be cool. Uh, but it's just it just seems kind of silly. So I think I'm going to ignore it still. Um, what else could we do? Right, we could do the civilian industry plan. Or Reich's Autobahn. Yeah, 21 days on the Reich's Autobahn. Let's just get that done. Uh, the rest of the infantry. Well, these guys are monarchists. If I just justified a war against Hungary right now, who's going to stop me? Let's find out. Let's go to war with Hungary. They, uh, as monarchists, I think that means they can do whatever they want, but can monarchists join the Allies? I don't know. I'm pretty much done with peaceful land acquisition. Right? We've got all of it? I think so. So maybe we just declare war on Hungary right now? Fate check Slovakia. Question of Yugoslavia. Yeah, keep putting the squeeze on them. Whatever that does. But maybe, yeah, maybe we just go after Hungary right now. The reason I want to go after Hungary is uh, we do already actually have quite a bit of aluminium. I was thinking we were going to need aluminium off them, but looks like we don't really. Oh, right, I forgot to pull the chromium down. Oh, the dockyards have been doing nothing. <laughs> but like I said, you know, <clears throat> not that fussed about the naval war. Light aircraft level 5, Panzer level 7, artillery level 5, small arms level 10. No deal. No deal. Check equipment. Very useful. Gives us months of equipment. Okay, we can form these. Sure, let's, let's form them. Oh, it just gives me tech. Okay, that seems entirely reasonable. Uh, yeah, no, get deleted. And get deleted. Actually, that one does make sense because we're stealing Czechoslovakian tanks and it makes sense that we'd get their designs. I, I withdraw my objection to that particular one. Uh, something's behind time. Right, the fighters. Variant? Can I get drop? Oh, I can't get drop uh, drop tanks on these guys. Wing cannon. No, we actually don't have any air experience. Okay, yeah, switch up to these. Good. And yeah, we're just about to start producing these. Sweet. 
feel like I'm missing some production. These, what are these? These are check gear, panzer equipment description. Okay. <laughs> I hope we don't need those in our in our divisions because I'm not going to produce any yet. Okay, so continue uh, rolling over these low ward guys here. He's attacking there, yeah. Okay. Ooh, some light tanks. <sighs> Bad move bringing those around. But yeah, these guys, I love how fast the Panzers are in this mod. It's really, really satisfying. Especially once we can start whacking all this extra recon. Give them some cav recon. We've got enough of this here. We actually don't have enough recon infantry equipment. Okay, well, since we're going to put so much recon equipment in our, uh, in our tanks, high priority, increase the recon equipment production. But yeah, the ability to move so quickly that we just overran that guy, very useful. Oh no, they're going for Shanghai though. Okay, we'll see what we can do to immediately push them out of Shanghai. Top priority assignment. We mustn't let them get get and hold Shanghai. Because they will... Uh, Oi, excuse me. You, I told you to do this. Thank you. We mustn't let them get and hold Shanghai. But these guys are all finished already. So that's great. And yeah, as soon as you get in here, just retreat out the other side. Are we actually going to beat them to Shanghai? Wow. That's how freaking fast we are. <laughs> no, we nearly beat them there. And we did manage to get here, even though we strategically redeployed. They are instantly evicted from the tile. And possibly even overrun. Not quite. Shame. But still, the speed of these tanks is uh, is frightening. We want to come in on a narrow, narrow angle. We don't need the extra combat width. Fully equipped this guy. Slowing down our increased production of tanks because we're we're going so hard onto wow, wasn't there a fine was expensive? Jesus. Okay. Uh, if we have someone to import from, we should never build synthetic refineries. Uh, but we won't always have someone to import from. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe not yet. Let's go have a look at at uh, Nanking. Panzer 98T, uh, yeah. Let's see, it's not. Future economy of Germany. Our economic mischief has been seriously criticizing Herr Goring's policies. Who was his name? Hal Hajmar, this guy. Well, he does give us synthetic refinery build speed. He does drift towards conservatives, but it doesn't matter that much. We've finished building our civilian industry, so I think it is time for you to go, sir. Which frees up room for a war industrialist. Excellent. It's very convenient. Go on, give me the city. No. No, hold the attack, hold the attack. Let's go let's go see if we can take this tile, thereby encircling uh then King. HQ communications. It's December! Go on, let's get the uh let's get the anti the, pan the uh, anti tank guns. Which is gonna give us way more piercing on all our infantry, but it's gonna mean we're gonna have to start a whole new production line to actually satisfy the needs of our infantry divisions. No more Japanese invasions? No more Japanese invasions. What do we get? We got... Ah, this is our free one. Okay, yep, yeah, you get deleted. Where's my, uh... Where's my Panzer Division from over here? Gone. All oh, right, I deleted him to, uh... Because he was... He went green. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do civilian industry. Uh, we want to be able to do this pretty soon after we can plausibly do so. And I would like... This is going to be ahead of time, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we can't build synthetic rubber until 39. That's not a big problem. Better SMGs? Are we using SMGs? Like, what divisions have SMGs in? I don't know if any do. Looks like I have no SMGs in the field. Am I making any? They do, it does appear to give 5% light attack just to all infantry, though, so it's a good tech to have. Looks like we have no SMGs at all. Is that right? I'm not seeing any. Seems good. Anyway, we can simplify it, you know. I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, have we invented those uh, flamethrowers yet? No. But yeah, this does give 5% soft attack, so we should probably get that at some point. Ah, oh, right, yes, the mortars. We'll want to get the next tier of mortars so we can upgrade to them soon. Not using many amphibious assault or uh, mountaineer special stuff uh, just yet. 
don't think we need it. If the Chinese would support me, this should be a pushover with this 240 width. And then negative soft, their negative hard attack against guys with 40... What have these guys got? 40 hardness? 42% hardness. I would like to increase that. Maybe switching entirely to motorized. Sorry, to mechanized is going to be the way. Because uh, when you have really high hardness, things just can't touch you. Because you... Uh, how hardness works, in case you don't know, by the way. Uh, it's a bar here. And if you are 100% hard, you only take damage from hard attack. If you're 100% soft, you only take damage, damage from soft attack. If you're 50-50, you take half and half. So basically, since soft attack is almost always way higher than hard attack, you, uh, the harder you are, the harder you are to damage. The harder you are, the harder you are. <laughs> it sounds kind of circular, but it's, it's how it works. Basically, the harder you are, the better. And yes, I have seen your comments, and I know you're all laughing at me right now. But I just, I have, it's what the word is. It's the term. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> There's three of them there. Goes four year plan. I think we're going to keep doing these. A little bit of uh, factory output down in exchange for higher construction speed seems fine. Compared to vanilla, we're deploying our army so much slower. I guess I am kind of constantly upgrading our infantry, which I'm sure is you know massively slowing it down, but you know, we'll live with that. You should be able to send volunteer planes that you get to command. That would be really fun. Looks like we're overproducing mortars, but then we are about to switch to something with a much lower production efficiency on the mortars, so... Let's cut down on heavy machine guns slightly. I want to get this recon deficit filled. How are we doing on that? And the mechanized... Yeah, I'm going to bump mechanized even more. Let's go full mechanized strats on the, on the tanks. Might as well support this attack. So we're not going to be able to get in there. They're getting dangerously close to Shanghai. Let's go and make sure they don't uh, don't get any closer. Okay. What else can we do with researching? We could upgrade our amphibious and fort equipment, but I don't think we need to right now. We can we can deal with that if we win the land war. Then we'll deal with our amphibious stuff. Could do with that. Any industry tech? We could go ahead of time on this again. I'm going to do it. It's so good. This 15% output. Let's go ahead of time. Yeah, the production efficiency retention on the uh, debuff on the uh, disperse does make it a lot worse. In my eyes. It's one of the strongest things about it in vanilla. The fact that it has that production efficiency retention bonus. That was a terrible mistake. They now have no organization. We can rush in here. And yeah, we should arrive first, because we've got yeah, so fast on these tanks, which means these guys are now totally doomed. Because they now have zero supply. Nine supply in this empty tile. I don't understand. For some reason, the fact that there's like farms around means that they're able to get their guns repaired or something. <laughs> Not sure how that works. These guys are filling up. Getting a lot of extra panzer divisions. We're going to have a serious armor core when we start this war. We could consider building a... Uh, a 60 width tank division, which would be an absolute monster. Okay, is it time? Are we, are we producing these yet? No. I've been I've just been adding more and more stuff above it, but uh, I've slowed it down. Again, we're still producing these uh, artillery, heavy artillery slower than the prime movers. I think all of these double up exactly one to one, right? On the On the transport so for example what is this this is medium producing one a day of the mediums and we're producing 1.5 a day see that balance is very nice three to one 6.5 here and 14 of these okay so we can reduce that substantially because we don't need to outproduce transports compared to our artillery I mean, unless there's high, higher attrition on the transports I don't know that would kind of make sense I can see your your car breaking down more often than your piece of artillery. Then again, never wielded a piece of artillery. I'm going to be honest. It's a, it's a big admission for me to make, but I have never wielded a piece of artillery, so maybe they break down all the time. Probably harder to repair when they break down as well. All right, let's help out here. Should be able to win this eventually. Oh, good timing on that reinforcement. <clears throat> 
Why did our attack just go up even though it wasn't switching to daytime? Oh, right, because the seasons, uh, the seasons are mucking with me. I'm just like, it's, it's 2 a.m. Why on earth is the, uh, why is it dawn at, you know, <laughs> midnight? But, uh, of course, that's because we're in a different part of the world than I'm used to. Does time... I want to know. Someone tell. Someone figure this out and tell me in the comments. Are there seasons? Like, does does this bar switch so that there's... I, I mean, I could just check, couldn't I? Okay, it's January, which means it should be, yeah, darker in the north. So let's see. When it gets to the middle of... Uh, no deal, no deal. When it gets to the middle of summer, let's see... Wait, January? Yeah, when it gets to the middle of summer, let's see if this switches so that this light... Uh, so it's always like because currently it's always dark at the highest point, right? So in the middle of summer it should be always dark. Middle of my summer, you know, British summer, it should be always dark at the bottom. The bottom is the technical term, by the way. South is for losers. <sighs> All right, reinforced in. Give me some support, dude. Dude, help out. Okay, first Japanese naval invasion, very thoroughly rebuked and thrown back into the sea. See what we can do to stop them taking the Shandong Peninsula. Which is what this whole section here, by the way. Ah, Jidong. I thought this was the Shandong Peninsula. I've been lied to. I think this is called the Shandong Peninsula, isn't it? Maybe Jidong is like the name that it was called after it was taken from the Germans, and the Germans called it the Shandong Peninsula? I feel like they'd called it like the Wilhelm Peninsula or something, though. They're on very low walk. Interesting, you're going to leave the port? I'm gonna, gonna be honest with you here. It's not a, it's not a good plan. It's a very bad plan, in fact. Because the moment you leave, you better believe I'm gonna take it off you. Then you're gonna be without supply. And then we're gonna see what we can do. Got to keep checking for new naval invasions, but then we're gonna see what we can do to uh, reverse this. This is the kind of open terrain that our tanks want to fight in. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the communists. The communists tend to last a long time. Like uh, you'll see. The Japanese taking kind of all this land before they actually capitulate the communists. Because obviously the communist kind of concentration of force is so much higher than the uh, Republicans. Not Republic. <laughs> Nationalists. They call themselves the Republic of China. They don't have elections though, so. The dismissal of Neuath. Uh, in response to the res reservations expressed at the Hosbach conference, Hitler tightened his control of the foreign military policy making apparatus. Alright, we can get von Ribbentrop. So we have an option to replace our foreign minister, which is this guy, right? Yeah. One percent political power. We can swap it for this guy, which gives us same, more political power, and lower justification. And he... Yeah, that seems good. I don't think it makes that much difference, but hey, why not? I'm not going to lose political power just to avoid being getting a Ron Ribbentrop. Not a nice man, Von Ribbentrop. I recognize this YouTube monetization system. He was a horrible man. He was tried for war crimes, but <laughs> he does have some good bonuses, so we're going to get him. All right, let's just drive them back all the way along here. We're going to just go all the way along the river and drive them back onto their side. And by their side, I mean our side, <laughs> because this is all our side, but uh, you know what I mean. So Panzer's more reconnaissance. Got enough recon equipment for this? I don't care if you don't, to be honest. We do, though. Nice. And... Combat engineers. We have enough of that, too. Nice. Okay, so these guys now have a movement speed of 5.6. Now, I know that seems low, because they're supposed to, you know, base 6. It should be way higher. But actually, that's not bad at all. And that's dealing with a negative 35% from infrastructure. Actually, I'm not seeing a, a positive there from... Hmm. Maybe if... Maybe this stuff hasn't arrived yet, and therefore they're not actually travelling at full speed. Anyway, see what we can do to plough down along our side of this river. Again, recognising that both sides are our sides. And look at the speed with which we can move. Going into the city, we're not going to be able to overrun them, almost certainly, but... The speed at which we can power down here. In the open especially, the tanks just... The overruns. Look at that. Into a... I mean, yeah, our defence is still not good enough. But uh, what is your defence looking like now? It's up to 290. I'm, I'm surprised. They pushed us back across a river. I am... I'm, I'm quite surprised. And look. Look at the speed. The realistic speed. Like, the fact that you can... 
these tanks can move out, reorganize, and get back in in time to win the defense before they can cross a river. Because, of course, crossing a river means establishing beach, sorry, beach, bridgeheads and organizing new supply lines to deal with the fact there's now a freaking huge river in the way. It's a big deal, so it just takes a long time, as it should. One of the excellent things about this mod, the, uh, the movement speed changes I very much enjoy. Who is assigned to here? I just assigned both of them to this line. You guys, to this line. Thank you. They're trying to cross up there. Should hold. Six militia trying to hold them off. Don't really want to be fighting them on the defensive, but the extra militia and the, yeah, the extra attacks there should crush them. Okay, straight on to the mixed industry plan, I think. Get me some more munitions factories and things would be very valuable. We are being pushed back here. It's not too bad, though. Uh, right, we could do it, definitely do with a tank designer. It's only helping with certain things. Maybe we just won't bother. <laughs> Honestly. This just looks like it helps with everything. Let's just get crap. More armor. And, oh, an industrial research time down. Hell yeah. There's more industrial research than tank research. Even if you value tank research higher than industrial research, that can still be good. Because, I mean, if you do your industrial research faster, that lets you spend more time doing tank research. See what we can do to pocket these guys. See if we can get in here before you. Six hours. Ooh, we can't, but the uh, the uh, militia can, which means we can now move in here and wipe you out. How many casualties have they got? Only 390,000, but uh, it did just bump quite a bit. I'm guessing we've won the battle. We have indeed. Nice. The dulcet tones of uh, CK2 soundtrack, by the way, playing in the background right now. People have asked me what... Uh, what Music mod I'm using. I'm using the YouTube music mod. Do you mission to China? No, our advisors will stay. Obviously. Can I send you another volunteer? No. Problem is they currently refuse, I think. That's only taking down three a month, though, so maybe they'd still accept. Try and hold these hills. See what we can do. Keep attacking in there. Getting lots of nice arm experience from this. Interesting that normal difficulty setting increases it by 5%. This seems so inconsequential. Of the city. They're breaking through a bit down here. Yeah. Nope. 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 But if they, uh, if they break through too far down here, we might be able to kind of cut in and cut them across. Must make sure they don't pocket us in the Shandong, though. See so if we can cut in here. Looks like we will. Gonna get pretty quickly repelled, though. Yeah, organization in general is a lot lower in this mod, which I, I enjoy. Battles are quicker. Uh, got a 10% discount. Is now the time to do this? Or oh, this. 10% production efficiency cap is just so good. Let's do it. I think it's worth doing those ahead of time industry techs. Because they're just... They're, they're such huge bonuses. And we have so many research slots that it feels like a lot less of an investment. For, it's basically less of an investment than you would in the base game. Oh, hey, Soviet tanks helping us out too. As you can take a look at their tanks. They look pretty much the same as ours. Uh, smaller though. They're looking like 20 wits to me. 20 wits, by the way, are still good in this mod uh, because obviously any multi multiple of 60 is also going to be a multiple of 20. But generally, I think we're going to go with 30 wits. For simplicity's sake, if nothing else. If we're going to have to deal with these unit counters, <laughs> we're going to try and deal with as few as possible. Which would mean go 60 width, I know. But then we do have reinforcement rate, and I don't really want to have to deal with too much problems with that. Yeah, that's predictable. Might be able to hold them here. Get straight back in there. Let's see. No, we're not going to hold this. But we can keep trying. We're barely losing any guys in this. How many men are we actually losing in these fights? Well, we did lose 200. No, no, wrong side. I mean, yeah, 300 men in that little defeat. That's not a tiny amount. But if we can take these guys out before they can close the pocket. All right, there goes flamethrower teams, which does mean we're going to need to add in flamethrower team production as a matter of urgency. Take a factory off cast just to get that thing going. We literally need 33, not very many. And we will just bump it down to where it belongs. Just going to be down here with all the basic infantry equipment. Cool. I think this works well. Mass-produced infantry equipment. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Mass-produced infantry equipment. This should be down here. Mass-produced infantry equipment, followed by guns, followed by vehicles, 
followed by sorry, followed by basically transport stuff, followed by basic infantry equipment, followed by miscellaneous. These ones, let's put that down a bit. This is a gun, really. I did keep these, but I might just do this. Honestly, like, who cares? You guys, I don't, I don't understand you, so I'm going to get rid of you. It's like uh, you know, dealing with Xenos in space games. <laughs> Okay, next up. 38 could do with this, but not really urgently. How many days are I on this? 11 days, so we'll just save up and get save up this tech and put it all into... Uh, well, actually, it's going to go into Armour Spearhead. But. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, God. <laughs> Good thing I noticed that. Okay, looks like we are heading south in the next episode to deal with another massive Japanese naval invasion. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye.